Hello, my name is Dr. Wendall, and on Fridays I do this show called Dream Talk. Dream Talk is a show where I share with you sometimes my own personal dreams, and I talk to you about how I decipher my own dream language. Um, sometimes also I'll bring in information that I found out uh, through research about dreams specifically. Uh, but today I'm just going to go on my own personal experience as far as dreams go. What I'd like to share with you is just a thought. Um, a lot of people will uh, complain about having nightmares uh, and not know why they had nightmares. And they'll be shook up after they have the nightmare, but then they just, you know, you know how most things happen, people just forget about it and just like, whatever, it's just a nightmare. Um, I think that there's a good way of, have, of preventing nightmares. Um, one of the main ways, I think, is to stop eating at a certain hour of the night. I'm not one who always abides by this rule, but I think it's a good rule to start to stick to, and I want to try to uh, incorporate that into my life. Um, like, if you know that you're going to go to bed at, like, 8 o'clock, then you can, you know, cut your eating time off at 6, which is kind of hard for some people to do. Or if you go to bed at 11, you know, cut your eating time off at 8. Because what I, this is my theory about it, and I'm sure this has been talked about before, is that um, when we lay down to rest, our body is processing all the food and digesting all the food that we've eaten throughout the day. And um, I feel like that time for us to lay down and rest at night is that time for our body to restore itself and to try to um, fix whatever may ail us. Um, yeah, I think that's main, one of the main reasons why we have to lay down at some point and uh, recharge our bodies. But I think that if our bodies have to work overtime in order to digest all these heavy foods we may have eaten right before bed, then we could it could probably disrupt our mental state of mind as well and uh, make us end up having nightmares that are not so pleasant. So just think about that before going to bed at night, maybe setting it aside, like making sure two hour window before um, going to bed that you don't eat anything, you know, just keep your body um, absent of food so that you can sleep peacefully and have good dreams instead of nightmares. Um, this may or may not work for you, just try it out and see what happens. Um, there's a lot of people that are having nightmares for various reasons and a lot of it has to do with the state of the world right now, I know that for sure. So yeah, thank you for joining me today, thank you for subscribing to my channel, thank you for the likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Put your comments down below on what you think about this topic today about dreams and nightmares and how not eating a certain amount of time before going to bed can affect your dream world. Alrighty guys, take care and see you soon. Peace.